here. Valerie, here goes. Back of the week. Now, all phone shells come to work. Go ahead and ask them. Let's just all boys get you here. Hello, everyone. This is the Astronaut. Welcome back. So, today I want to talk about something I really like. The For All Mankind TV show. It's an alternate history where the Soviet Union landed on the moon before us Americans. So, one thing that always bugged me is they don't show enough of what actually happened. Like, for instance, the moon landing that you're seeing here from the Soviet Union picking their site near uh, Shackleton Crater and then landing their vehicle. So, I've submitted this as a possible idea as to what would have happened had they shown it on screen. I think it's rather clever, so I hope you enjoy. The idea was they take a normal N1, increase the payload fairing just a little bit, and add a couple extra stages. Nothing fancy. But the way I see it is it's possible that the N1 might have suffered a small launch failure eh, during ascent. Who knows? It happens. So the whole idea is to replicate what I think might have happened in the For All Mankind TV show. As you can see, it just broken into orbit. And now we are getting into the final burn, with it being sent directly towards the Mun, which is the moon analog of this universe. As you coast gracefully towards the Mun, hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. And because this is an alternate universe, they have a different moon landing newspaper than we do. It, I find it would be really cool to have the Red Moon newspaper from this show hanging next to my Man Lands on Moon, Eagle Has Landed, Philadelphia Inquirer. But, hey, if it gets handed up to Ronald Moore, have him give me a call. He knows where to find me. I'm on YouTube. Anyway, let's get this show on the road, shall we? So, basically, as soon as it reaches Mun orbit, it would do a retro burn to break into orbit, and then line itself up for a re-entry using the same engine. During descent, the engine would be detached, and the entire module would have its own little ascent thrusters with the habitable modules clustered around the outside. At least that's what it looks like from the picture. As soon as it lands, of course, the Kermerikans would be there ever so swiftly to investigate. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me what happens next. Leave an idea below. I might use it in a video. I am the astronaut. Let's fly.